Hello and welcome to Peek Behind the Page with me, Sandy Fish, author of Cod in Devon. There we are, more on that later. Uh, now, the questions have been set for me by our very own Queen of Romance, Joanna Jackson. Thank you. Now, did you always want to write a book whilst you were a serving police officer and did your colleagues encourage you to become a writer? Well, the idea had been lurking in the lay-by for quite a while. Um, some of my colleagues were aware of my desire to write and subsequently stopped talking to me. Um, I think they were a bit concerned that anything that they did say might be taken down in evidence and used against them. Uh, but they needn't have worried. I mean, this is not a book about revealing everything. This is a story, an adventure in its own right. So, um, as they say in the police, what's said on the bus stays on the bus. And you have to adhere to these things. Um, now, whilst reading Cod in Devon, I was intrigued to know if you likened the main characters to people you actually know. I've kind of answered that. Um, all of the uh, characters are fictional. Um, but, you know, the force is awash with some splendid characters and some incredibly interesting skills. And so my officers and characters were created from the ingredients that were available, let's say. Uh, although it has been said that the main character is um, a little bit like me. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to, if it's all the same with you, go no comment on that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, next question one of your characters can play the piano do you play yourself and what is your favorite style of music to play well as regards the piano i have been a beginner all my life i mean i can play happy birthday uh, the odd christmas carol um, and i do like soft rock i think the piano in rock music is is rather amazing and that's really where I aspire to. Um, I do remember on a, a trip to Greenaway or Greenway, uh, Agatha Christie's former home now run by the National Trust, um, they've got a piano in there with a notice which says something like if you can play you're welcome to, um, alluding to the fact they didn't want people to just sit there and mess about. So I thought well I won't mess about I'll play something and I sat on the stool with Agatha's photo on the top there looking at me a bit intimidating and I played the opening bars to heart alone which I thought was quite appropriate um, it went reasonably badly I have to say although the stewards were very accommodating uh, and even Agatha you know she looked a bit astounded so yeah, that was my public performance of piano. Um, probably not going to do it again. Uh, okay, next, moving on. Um, how did you decide on the title of your book, Cod in Devon? Well, Cod in Devon, as you can see, has an exclamation mark, um, which means, really, it's an exasperated expression. Well, it's, that's what I think it means, anyway. Um, the character, the central character, doesn't swear, and so, therefore, she has to create all sorts of other ways to express herself when when the day starts to unravel and goes horrendously wrong. Um, quite an adventure. Hmm. Anyway, so that's why. Quite simply, exasperated. Uh, do I appear exasperated? I, I don't know. Your video book reviews are very entertaining. Have you ever performed on stage? What a question. Well, thank you. My video... Um, book reviews. I do enjoy doing those. Uh, and it's all about a feeling. I don't, you know, do all this technical review stuff. It's, I read the book, how does it make me feel? That's what I do on my reviews. Um, have I been on stage? Yes. I did a summer season in Weymouth to quite small audiences, it has to be said, um, and stayed in theatrical digs with a large family of fleas who seemed to, well, they became quite attached to me, let's say. And at the time, 
I thought that was the pinnacle of my career. Well, that, I suppose it could have been. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Was that the peak? Was that it? Anyways, um, moving on. Of all your achievements in life, what is the thing you are most proud of? Well, clearly it was Weymouth. Um, no, it's difficult, isn't it, to decide what's your greatest achievement, I mean, or what you're most proud of. When you get to a certain age, you can't actually remember the things that you've done. And so it's quite difficult to do that. And it's also like choosing a favourite pet. How do you decide? Um, but some days, when I wake up in the morning, I think, oh, great, that's an achievement. I've made it through to the next day. Let's have a go at this. And I think you've got to empower yourself with the tiny things, you know, like getting your shoes on the right feet. If that's the best your day offered, take it. You know, it's important. Take the little things. Um, I suppose if I was pressed on what is my most proud moment, it would have to be, most recently, serving with Devon and Cornwall Police. I mean, it was fun. We had a great time and I loved wearing the uniform. Uh, yes. Um, but even then, things, days went horrendously wrong and very, very little was achieved. It was just relentless, awful, terrible. Don't want to do that again. But you could go home and I could pick up my shoe and look it directly in the eyelets with that warm sense of achievement, knowing that I've put my foot in it. Hmm. Anyway, how do you get hold of my book, Cod in Devon, available from Blue Poppy Publishing, that's her little logo there, or from bookshops, Waterstones, order it, do what you like really. Um, you can find it anywhere if you want to. Hmm. Uh, or look on HBF The Bookshelf which is our little Facebook page of books and reviews. Worth a little visit if you haven't been there already. Okay, thank you very much for sharing your day with me. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. Thank you. Bye.